Hello there, folks in Lazoland. Apparently, I have been back in the United States for the better part of 10 days. And does not disappoint. I actually kind of wish I was back in Ecuador. <laughs> uh, kind of. Uh, but what I have noticed is the same thing is going on in Ecuador as going on in the United States. Mask wearing. There's nothing wrong with that. 100% across the board. However, the efficacy of the mask, the whole thing, is sort of holding you for pause. And here's why. So I went to a, a local Walmart in a state, an undisclosed state in the United States, and I noticed something interesting. This picture right here. Now, I'll read everything on the box. It says, Mad Engine, $9.97, five pack assorted assortment face covering, face masks, washable, two ply, non-medical grade. One size fits most. Now, do you see where I have my have, have some sort of pause there? Non-medical grade. So let's let's kind of go through that term or that saying right there or that advertisement. Non-medical grade. Isn't that interesting? Hmm. So we're walking around, covering up our faces during this pandemic, using non-medical grade face coverings, okay? Now, if you look at the CDC, they say you know, face coverings should be mandatory, okay? But they don't say what the quality should be, most likely. Now, for medical professionals, obviously, they, they use medical grade face coverings, face masks, whatever. But for the normal schlub on the street, no one's wearing them that you could see. They always have these nice floral patterns or, you know, BLM or whatever stupid political slogan they'll have on it. But like I said, non-medical grade. So if it's a non-medical grade, that means that uh, anything and everything is going right through that mask if it's not a medical grade. And also these face coverings that people use, you don't know if they wash them regularly or sanitize them in any specific way. That should lead everyone for a pause. If we're not doing that, that's a problem. And you can't necessarily mandate someone to go out and clean themselves up, if you will put their mask in a medical grade sterilizer or just a washing machine on a high temp. But even so, non-medical grade. So we're all walking around with non-medical grade masks to stop the spread of a deadly virus. It's interesting, isn't it? Because if it's non-medical grade, which most people are using, then it's not doing anything, is it? It's not. So here's the second picture I saw. It was a box right next to it. Basically says, warning, not for medical or industrial use. Not a toy. Not for children under, the, under four years of age. To be used under adult supervision. Okay. Let's read that second line right there. Not for medical or or industrial use. Now, everyone should, should agree that this pandemic is a medical emergency. So if we're wearing a face covering that isn't deemed for industrial or even medical use, then why are we wearing it? Well, it'll stop some. Oh, stop something, right? But will it stop a virus? No. If it's not medical grade, it shouldn't stop a virus. And therein lies the rub of all this face diaper wearing. Because apparently, it's not really doing anything. Is it stopping the virus? Is it stopping the spread? Not necessarily. If everyone's healthy, it's not stopping the spread of anything. Now, if you're out and about and you're asymptomatic, maybe it stops something. 
if it was medical grade, but if it's not medical grade, hmm. You see, this is the problem with wrapping this up with big tech and censorship. If you dare question medical authorities, whatever the hell that means, you'll get banned. I run the risk of getting banned off YouTube for posing this question. Why are we doing this? The CDC said so. Okay, so what if the CDC said so? Is it working? Yeah, who knows? Just ask the United Kingdom right now. We're going under a third lockdown. After the lockdowns, reportedly, the cases, not deaths, but cases have gone up. So if all this mask wearing, non-medical grade, by the way, is not helping, then why are we doing it? Is it just for show? Virtue signaling? Don't know. But the issue here is that we should ask questions. We should hold medical officials' feet to the fire. We should keep asking questions. Stop letting big tech determine what we can and cannot say because we question, quote unquote, government officials.